what's going on. Um, so you, then once the body realizes you, you ain't going to eat anything, we have to start mobilizing out of our fat resources. And the fats uh, go into the bloodstream as triglycerides, which are three fatty acids attached to a glycerol backbone. They go to the liver. The liver chops them up and puts out these little water-soluble um, ketone bodies. That, that the name ketone body is kind of a weird thing from biochemistry, but, but they're called ketone bodies. Um, and they can supply the brain with energy, the heart with energy. And not only that, they're a super fuel. It's unbelievable. That mitochondria burns these ketones. Okay, but their energy, remember I was talking about how energy efficient the mitochondria become? When they burn ketones, they become even more energy efficient. It's unbelievable how you, you, they don't need as much oxygen to generate more energy. That's why they, my colleagues called, and some of the greats in the, bio, in the biochemistry field called them super super fuel, because you can get more energy, bang for buck, burning a ketone body than you can burning a pyruvate coming from glucose or even a fatty acid. Uh, and the biochemistry for that is, is interesting. But, but the bottom line is when you transition away from these fuels to key, we don't forget we evolved. Our, our ancestors were always in a state of ketosis. You get into that state by consuming very few carbohydrates and having a lot of energy. And this is the way our ancestors were. So what can we learn from our ancestors about cancer? How prevalent was cancer um, when we look back at our ancestors, if they were often in a state of ketosis? 